Well done, Ronnie. Pleased? Yeah, pleased to be in the final, you know, pleased to have been involved in a really good competitive match and, you know, extra pleased to have got through. You've looked good all week, in fairness. Yeah, I have. I felt, I felt pretty good about my game and my queuing and that. And, um, you know, if you feel like that, then, you know, if the opponent plays well against you, then you no normally can go with it. And that's what it's probably been like this week. And um, so, yeah, you know, um, yeah, it's just nice to be playing. It's funny, I watched you yesterday, I said to someone, is queue action as an aged? You see players get older, the mm. queue gets tighter, gets a bit mm. twitchier. Yours looks just the same as it did 10 years ago. Mm. Yeah, I think you have to reinvent yourself sometimes. And I've done that about six years ago. I thought I need to try and find some more power, more accuracy and stuff like that. So you, you tinker about a bit. And, um, but it feels pretty solid, you know. I feel like um, 60, 70% of the time it's, it's pretty decent. I know what's going to happen. Um, the other 20, 30%, you know... Uh, <laughs> It's like, queue, so like queuing around corners, <laughs> yeah. but you know that's just that's just the same for all snooker players. You know, we all have spells where we, you know, we can't see where the the hole is and the ball, and you just think, wow, this is a um, tough game. But most of the time, it feels like a pretty, you know, easy game. You're your harshest critic. Do you still sort of beat yourself up when it's not going? We all know what you can do. When it's, when it's going seventy five percent, are you still alright with that? Yeah, no, I'm happy. I'll take 75% yeah. all day long, you know, because you can't be 100%. So 75% is good. Um, and I think, yeah, I probably am my harshest cricket critic, but I think that drives me on. So I think it's important to, re you know, retain some of that, but also kind of not engage with it to the point where it kind of starts dragging you into a, um, a, a, a misery of emotions. Yeah. You know, you've got to try and stay positive in it and realise that you're out there, it's, it's game time, you know. As soon as you walk out that curtain, it's like time to forget about that and just try and compete and win. And um, and then, you know, you can deal with, you know, uh, your problems after the game. One more piece of the puzzle. Now, tomorrow, what's more important to you, the, the performance or the result? I always go for performance because I like to think if my performance is good, you know, it takes someone playing very, very well to beat me, you know. Um, um, and it has does happen now and again, you know, where I play very well and someone beats me maybe two or three times in my career. So I like to kind of stick to that as my way of approaching a match. Um, but I'm also aware that, you know, a 23-year-old coming through, already winner of a couple of ranking events, playing a 42-year-old that's been very successful, I suppose. Um, you know, so he's kind of on the up and I would probably say I'm probably on the down in my career. So we're meeting, you know, and it's probably quite an even match. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge, you know. We're looking forward to it too, what well, He's dead. <laughs> that's true. I've got a daughter older than Kyron. <laughs> we'll leave it there. <laughs>